I'm Dr. Ray Smith with Texas A&M AgriLife Research here at Overton, Texas. We've got a new arrowleaf clover out this year and we want to talk to you about it. We, the new arrowleaf is Blackhawk arrowleaf clover. Uh, Blackhawk is, is different uh, and new. One of the things that you'll see different about it immediately is the cedar black. Uh, that's where our name came from. Blackhawk is resistant to fungal seedling diseases and to virus diseases. We, uh, we think that black oak will be a great addition to the, the clovers and the, the possibilities that you have to use here in East Texas and across the U.S. Southern region. We've had some questions and we'd like to emphasize the differences between uh, Apache arrowleaf clover and black oak arrowleaf. Uh, Apache is a, is a variety we released about 10 years ago that has really good resistance to uh, bean yellow mosaic virus and these are virus diseases that cause lots of problems in the arrowleaf clover forest. The black hawk is different in that it, is, it has multiple disease resistance. It has resistance to the virus diseases and to seedling diseases that cause problems in the fall with, uh, with germination and establishment. The history of the, the plant breeding on these two varieties is, is quite a bit different. We, we started with, with the, the work on Apache. We started with a really broad germplasm base and we selected an, a for a number of generations for resistance to uh, the bean yellow mosaic virus. We stopped at that and released Apache and it's been a great variety for us and it continues to be a great variety for us. The, the black hawk, we started in a different place. We started again with a, a large uh, germplasm collection, but we, we selected initially for resistance to these seedling diseases. We wanted to get that fixed first and then after we had resistance to those diseases we selected also for resistance to the virus diseases so it essentially the black hawk has multiple disease resistance some of the other differences and some of the other ways you can make choices in what you would use uh, whether whether you should buy apache arrowleaf or whether you should buy uh, black hawk there's a couple of things. Uh, one thing with the Apache arrowleaf clover, as we mentioned, we have resistance to the virus diseases, but it is somewhat susceptible to these fungal seedling diseases. So therefore we use a coating on the Apache to, to help control those, those, uh, those problems with establishment in the fall. The black hawk doesn't have to have this coating, so you can plant raw seed of black hawk. Uh, it, it's often sold as a coated, so it doesn't, doesn't really you may get a chance to make a choice on that, and if you like to use raw seed, then you, you, I would suggest that you plant black hawk. Another advantage to, uh, to black hawk is if you have problems in the, the late, uh, late spring when your uh, worm season grass begins to come through the, the air leaf, then um, the black hawk will be a little easier to manage because it gets out of the way a little faster. It has a slightly earlier maturity, about one week earlier than Apache. So it's maybe a little easier to manage if you have problems with that. So that's just another consideration in your choices. Black Hawk is uh, going to be available this fall from Northeast Texas Farmers Co-op and they're based in Sulphur Springs, Texas.